Hi everyone, my name is Jidin. Uh, welcome back to another tutorial. So today we are going to create a, a basic Python rat using sockets. Its functionality will be it will return us with a command shell and actually shell from the client. So we have two parts. The first one is the server and the client. Okay, and then <coughs> uh, we will be able to send commands from the server to the client and get the responses back. So let's start. Create a file called server.py and then first we have to import socket and if I say variable to socket you can specify the <coughs> a protocol like you, you can use uh, UDP or TCP you can use IP V4 or like that in here instead of um, parenthesis after that you have to specify a uh, host name and it will be socket or host by name so it will return the default IP address of our system and you have to specify a port I will use 999 uh, then we have to uh, bind this to our system that will only take uh, one parameter so we have to insert like, exactly like this and the port and uh, we have to bind the socket to the our computer and we have to listen for function so that this is a function we can we can specify the retry count inside this uh, I will enter to you can specify like 210 if it failed even after trying two times then it uh, is gonna uh, execute this means in internet okay then we can get the client the client itself and the address of the client and we accept a connection okay uh, so this is a basic so that we also have to um, enter system commands and get the responses back from the client so we have to we need some inputs to type the system commands right so for that uh, we have to create a new variable called cmd and we will wait for the input from the user and this is just the text to indicate what you can do or what you can type in the input sorry cmd okay. then if the command is not is equal uh, not equal to q if the command is equal to q then we will keep the socket okay if the command is not equal to q uh, then we are going to send this to the client so we have to send this to the client for sending this we have to encode it then we will wait for the reply from the client <coughs> then we can uh, create a new variable called response you can create whatever you want and then from the client we are going to receive it 1024 bytes at a time and then we are going to print this to the console sorry response then we will wait for another input so this is the server part then we have to create a new file called client ok then we also have to import the socket ok we also need the sub process is to execute the uh, system commands so all the system commands are executed into the client uh, when the client is connected mm -hmm. we can run commands from the server that's the whole idea of it uh, so we have to specify the host and we also have to specify the 
um, port, sorry. Please don't forget to use the same port. Then we also have to initialize the socket with the variable. the message <coughs> from the server so we are going to create an endless loop then we are going to get a response from the server so we can receive 1024 bytes at a time because that's what we are sending here and data okay so we are going to receive 1024 bytes at a time and uh, actually what we are getting is not the response actually it's the commands right commands sent from the server so we have to create a new variable called uh, cmd and we are going to execute the uh, received command the system so we have to type exactly like this at first we have to specify the command so it's the command itself and then we can specify it uses the shell okay then we can specify error input output etc Okay, this is our input. Then, then the output. Okay, this is it. Then we can create another variable and we are going to combine the error and the output in case if any output. So it will convert into bytes. Then we are going to convert it into string. And we are, then we are going to send it to the server. So we can do that. Before sending we have to encode it. Okay. So this is the client part and it's done. Okay. Create a new terminal. Uh, my Python version is Python 3.8.5. So you also have to use Python 3 for this. If you are trying it in Python 2 maybe it won't work so so we will create the so we started the server so we got the connection so this is the address actually we can print if the connection is received So 
you can type Q here. If you type Q, it's going to exit. So that's how it works. Okay, sorry. Something went wrong. Okay, so we got the connection. So we can type ls. Sorry, it's uh, printing now. That's a mistake. So this is our address, client's address. This is a port. So the this port is the destination port, and this is the source port of the socket. Okay, there is an error. Insert an extra L here. That's why the router. So you can type ls, then you can get the list of files in that. Also, you can type command that's accepted in the bash. So that's it. And if you type q. It's going to exit. Okay. So in this, we also have to do one thing. If uh, not any command, then we can break the loop. So it won't exit like this. So you can see down now there is no error. So that's how it works. So you can see that this is the system command. So this is exactly written that we got here. Sorry, here. So that's it for uh, this video. Thanks. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. Uh, subscribe would be a inspiration for me so don't forget to subscribe uh, i will post this uh, code in the github you can get there i will post the link in the description so so many guys complained that uh, you cannot type and it's not working etc like such so i will post the code uh, in the github you can try that so that's it thank you